go by the rules and do what needs to be done and so that everybody can say, oh, good, this is what you, you need to do and you should do as, as a couple or whatever. Or there's this other <laughs> thing that is like where love is. Hey you beautiful people, my name is Brittany. I'm Tumi. I'm Jade. And I'm Connor. And today we're going to be interviewing Tumi and Jade. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> We've had the pleasure of all knowing each other for some years now and we keep being attracted to the same places in the world mm -hmm. and meeting up there and it's been so beautiful to grow alongside of mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And there's something specifically that we find super badass and inspiring about your relationship and are just super excited to get to share it with everybody. So I am originally from Nigeria and then we moved to America when I was 12. But where I was living before I met this wonderful being is in Ojai, California. I've been there for two years. Very happy in Ojai. And then I met Jade in Chiang Mai, Thailand, at the Fruit House in Fruit Winter Festival. I was there. Brittany was there. <laughs> I was there. Connor was plotting. I was there. Jade was there. <laughs> I was living in Slovenia, um, and I was super excited to join this festival, and that's where it happened. <laughs> yeah, so we, we're all in the same house together, mm. and um, yeah, some really adorable, cute things happen along the way. You know when people like begin to fall in love? Brittany and I got to witness like all the behind the scenes moments. They thought we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was amazing. I think the most important for our relationship was maybe the fact that uh, we both learn the importance of self-love mm. so I think by just practicing this it's so much easier for the relationship mm. I really deeply connect to you saying about self-love being one of the most important practices and I feel like before I met Jade I desire definitely a partner in my life and to, to have somebody that I, um, a life partner or, you know, an adventure partner. And I had also gotten to a point in my life where I was very, very happy on my own. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I loved spending time with myself. I remember Valentine's Day, the days that the years, the couple years before I started having this practice where I would just do something extra luscious for myself every day. And I think this whole idea is so important because I really felt like this whole person, this whole thing of like, you know, looking for someone to complete me or um, to fill in those parts that were missing, I really, that was just wasn't part of my reality. Mm -hmm. And that's not something that happened automatically. That came from a lot of work, a lot of self-love work. So that when I met Jare, it was just, it was just like, I felt that I could be completely myself and that this person was so excited about that was amazing, but not needed. And that made it that much more beautiful, if that makes sense. It really makes sense to me. There's, you don't, you're not looking for something external, yeah, for, even for the relationship. So, uh, realizing that just made it so much more easy to be on your own. Yeah. Like, just to, I started to enjoy being mm -hmm. by myself, just what, what, what are the benefits of being on your own, mm -hmm. not being in a relationship? So I was like super happy just being inside, by, by myself. Yeah. So then I met Tumi, and I definitely connected to the same idea that she had, and it's just like, we 
kind of did our own work before, so it was so much easier. Then. I love that idea of you know us really being perfect, like mm -hmm. as individuals, mm -hmm. exactly where we are, exactly who we are. Like we're really so perfect, and then we can come together with these other perfect individuals, and it does allow us to love others. I think a lot. Yes. Uh, with a lot more of ourselves and also to love them with a lot more understanding that they're perfect too, just like we are. Yeah. It feels like such a powerful equation to me to yeah. have these, like, you know, sometimes I think growing up we hear these, like, fairy tales, like, I want the person who completes me. Mm -hmm. And I got this idea of this, like, circle and another half of the circle, but this idea of having, like, two full circles that can, like, make this perfect, like, overlay each other. follow-up question on the wings of that is now that you've had this union what are some of the fun or um, intimate or any sort of exciting practices that you guys have created together that then you share like that that way to love within the relationship and not to prompt it too hard but hashtag bed yoga <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> question mark we better hear more about this oh yeah yeah I think I just saw that image that came to mind as you were talking about these two kind of complete circles. This, and I thought of light, mm. you know, and how it's just more light. And I think one thing I always feel in this relationship is <clears throat> a real sense of freedom and spaciousness. Mm. And I think that's so much because I know that Jare is always taking care of himself. Right. Yeah. And, and the responsibilities for me to take care of myself and I love taking care of this man. Mm -hmm. And I feel so celebrated by this person. And I also feel like all that light is two whole beings who are responsible for their individual well-being. It's that just that much light to support each other. Again, not because we need it, but because we love to do it. And that light is then like beamed outward. Yeah. And I feel, mm, I you know, like I feel like there's this feeling I think with you honey of such like expansiveness I feel so happy and I just want to share that with other people and I feel like I'm a better human being yeah and it makes so much sense if you just like uh, think about it it's just like if you take care of yourself first you're you're definitely happy and then you you just want to make others happy came to mind. Do you remember when we were in Ojai? Like when I, we were in Ojai, I had a dance performance. This is an example of this. I had a dance performance and I had a dance performance in New York City and Jade was there of course front row and just, you know, it was like wonderful for him to be there. And then in Ojai I had another one. At the same exact time there was a speaker, I don't remember his name now, but there's a speaker yeah, that was who was coming to this festival in Ojai and it was the exact same time I was performing. And it was a moment in the relationship, I think, that was such a moment of growth for me because Jade tells me about this. We found out, like, maybe I think the day of my performance that this guy was going to be there. And it was so wonderful. And Jade was like, this guy is performing, uh, is speaking, and then he just left that. And I remember thinking, oh, like, he may not be at this performance. And, he, and it's like, you know that moment in a relationship or, or just in life where you see the two choices. You can either choose mm. to, mm, how do I put it, um, go by the rules and do what needs to be done and so that everybody can say, oh, good, this is what you, you need to do and you should do as, as a couple or whatever. Or there's this other <laughs> thing that is like where love is. And I was like, we, I remember we talked about it, and I said, honey, where do you really, like, what excites you the most? And I need you to be really honest with me. And he looked in my eyes, he's like, I'd love to hear David Wilco. First of all, I've been at dance performance he's seen before, but even if not, yeah. first of all, I was so happy that he was honest with me about it. And then for me to sort of step into love and just be like, I need you to go there, felt so good. Mm. And that's not a specific like practice that we do, but I just, this just came up for me, honey, this is as a way like of how there, I think there's opportunities that can be given in a relationship to just 
give that space and give that freedom. And I felt, I remember dancing, he wasn't there, and I was so happy. You know, if we take care of ourselves, and we really can be honest and truthful with ourselves, then we can bring that wholeness into the relationship. And what do we want? We don't want half people, you know? We want to be whole with another whole person. I think that feels best in my experience. And we don't want the compromises that, that take that away from us. I think. And just also being on the same page, just like both knowing what we want and mm. from the relationship and what's important. Mm. Like, also we also have another thing when we also both are aware that it's really good to have like some self time just for, for, for ourselves. So much of what you're sharing reminds me of these things we talk about, just like freedom and mm -hmm. safety and how much they can tie in to one another. And I think sometimes there can be this confusion around freedom meaning like it's scary, you know, you're not going to be connected to your partner if they're over there doing that and you're doing this. Mm -hmm. And when you guys were talking, I thought about like this beautiful tie between you while you were dancing and you were watch and you were watching this speaker and it was like you're more connected because of that. You have more safety because you have the freedom. Mm -hmm. This is a great philosophy that I believe in, the whole idea of polarity and how within opposites there's sameness or basically like you know, when there's a separation, you feel more connection. Um, so many times, actually, I feel, you know, I think that's why people say, oh, you know, I, I miss you more when you're gone. I think it's, it's, it's tapping into that whole thing of when you feel your wholeness, your own self, you then actually feel the truth of that connection. Mm. Um, and I feel that a lot. <laughs> Do we get to hear about bed yoga? Oh, too? yeah. Maybe you want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> I think you should start. It's, it's, it's like, it was your creation, basically. It was our co creation, yes. which I think is so cool. <laughs> I think that we were in bed and probably giving each other a massage. The so massage is one way that I mm. feel like, in general, just there are these, um, I think it's called like the love languages. It's, mm. There's this whole idea about. Um, I think the guy, uh, Gary Chapman, created a, I don't know if his, it's his, I think it is, a book called the, the Five Love Languages, but how we express love in different ways and how we feel loved often in the way in which we express them. Mm -hmm. But maybe other people feel love and express love in ways that might be different. So I know some of them are words of affirmation. So saying you you look so beautiful or I love your eyes or this what you did and, and when you hear that you feel so loved the way we express is usually the way we feel loved mm -hmm. but if for example the person you love maybe their love language for example is touch so you're saying all these beautiful things to them but there's not there's none of this happening they may not feel that sense of love and one thing I think that's been actually really natural for us, I think we have very similar primary love languages. Touch is really important for both of us in terms of feeling love. Mm -hmm. okay. um, quality time is another one. So we were, so massage has been really big. And we were, yeah. I think, massaging and then breathing. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I kind of want to do a little bit of yoga. <laughs> and then I was like, honey, can I put my feet on your back? And he was like, Ooh, that feels and he, he did a forward bend and I did a bridge on his back and we're like whoa what's, what's going on here let's do more and so we started playing and then we found a few poses flow that just feel we'll do it for probably like five to ten minutes and those five to ten minutes it's like a whole asana flow and there's that connection because you're looking to each other's eyes your breath is synced it's just the most delicious way of waking up and giving love to your beloved in a really palpable way and feeling that back. Yeah. It's so efficient to basically do <laughs> five minutes yeah. and you're like stretching yourself, but at the same time your partner is helping you stretch and giving you a massage at the same time and 
it just feels so good after like just a few minutes really. Um, one thing that I was remembering um, is when we were in Chiang Mai together and Brittany and I had just completed our Vipassana and we were speaking to you guys and you guys have both done Vipassanas and you were going to create your own kind of Vipassana together in your own space and maybe you can just talk a little bit about, about that and maybe, I don't know, just in general, like creating, setting yourselves up with these spaces, these dedicated spaces and times when you're going to do things mm -hmm. because you also did... Um, I can't remember if it was in conjunction with the Vipassana or, or a separate thing, but some Ayurvedic um, deep cleanses and detoxification and this kind of thing. Yeah. For me, so this is one way in which individual stuff comes together um, and then we co-create stuff. So for me, for a few years, what's felt really good um, is doing a seasonal body directed cleanses so they're not like okay now i'm going to do a detox they're mm. based on what's <clears throat> feeling in my body a shift in the season and vipassana which i feel like is such a restful state and um, there can be a lot of emotional and mental release that happens in vipassana goes really beautifully with it and i remember talking to Jari and saying honey i'm thinking about doing this um, and he was like, that sounds really great. And then we sat together and looked at, in Chiang Mai, there's a great Ayurvedic center. We looked yeah. at what was on the menu, and we talked about what we'd been seeing in each other and in ourselves, but what might be going on physically, mm -hmm. mentally. And so we created, um, basically, a menu plan of every <laughs> yeah. day, yeah. Um, what, we'd be, what we would like to do. And it was great to, to kind of play off of each other. You know, I've noticed that you had some maybe tension here or there, and, and so, this is again how it's like one plus one being three mm -hmm. and not half plus half being one. Right. Yeah. A whole person, you know, meeting a whole yeah. person and creating something. And so, yeah, so we did Vipassana and Jare offered up some really great ideas of having separate space within our apartment in Chiang Mai where he could meditate, I could make, meditate separately. But you know the apartment, it's not huge. Um, so it was really cool. For two full days, we did a full day of silent meditation. Um, and this is in conjunction with a week of doing some deep body cleansing work together. And just, it was a lovely way of doing something together while giving each other real space. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in general, we've just been flowing into seasonally doing some sort of cleanse that feels good individually. It may look like a different thing for you versus me. And sometimes it's the same, but sometimes it's different. But just holding the space for each other to do that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like one way is a lot of times I feel like couples will connect. I see this a lot in my work as a holistic medical doctor. I have clients, both men and women, who will say, talk about when they spend time with their partners being in front of television mm -hmm. or screen in some way and how that can be sometimes not the healthiest thing. And, you know, Jare and I, um, we both have different work, although sometimes our work comes together in other ways, which is beautiful. But I think being intentional also about when you come together at the end of the day, I know has been really supportive, or I felt it's been supportive in our relationship. And um, so I can give a very clear example is, um, at the end of the evening, rather than I think just having this thing of okay, now let's watch a movie. We first of all, we both love movies, and usually we'll have like movie night, you know, once a week. Probably today. Probably today. Probably. <laughs> um, but yeah, but the other thing I think is really important is connecting outside of screen time. So not right. just being like okay, now let's watch a couple of videos together or TV together. So for me, I remember there were a couple of days I started seeing, okay, we're now, tonight we watch a couple of videos together, today we're watching a movie. And for myself, I knew that I really felt a strong connection without anything else and just the two of us. Mm -hmm. um, so I approached Jade and I said, how do you feel about just having some days where there's no screen at all and it's just us? And he was like, yeah, let's try it, let's do it. 
I think just that openness, just to play and to yeah, see. Yeah. One of the things I love about you, um, and so you said yes to this, and and it's something I I I look at. There are things I think in the relationship he looks at, and he kind of look, and there are things I look at, and so I kind of look at screen time, and so. Um, He'll be like, oh, do you want to watch some videos today? I'll be like, that's cool. What's really exciting for me today in terms of bonding might be taking a bath, um, doing massage. And that's just to kind of, I think, keep that balance of like, okay, some days we'll do video and TV, and then other days it's just us. Yeah. And I just bring that up as an example of just, I think it's an ongoing conversation and feeling into things. And mm. How have you felt with that, babe? Yeah, I super like it. Super love, just sometimes no TV, no anything, just like laying in bed, just like talking some, just like talking like different stuff. Like I super love sharing and expanding the ideas and future plans, so just this kind of stuff, and it just feels super, super good. Yeah. And I also want to uh, share one really important aspect for me that I learned from her, and it's also connected to self-love, it's just the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the, just how, how important it is to, to know and put the boundaries around. And when, when you do this, it means that you are nourishing yourself, you're doing what feels right for yourself, and it's the same. Once you're much happier then, you, you've got your needs met, you're ready to, to to give back. I mean, it's not just boundaries between ourselves. It's, it can be boundaries with your other relationship, with your family, with your friends, work, wherever. Just when wherever, it's like simple as the uh, when you're always on the uh, airplane. It says like when there's uh, in terms of crisis or the oxygen mask will come down. Always put your oxygen first. <laughs> and then put to, to your child, which kind of feels like weird, you know, it's your child. You should take care of him first, but no, if you're like, if you're not in the right place, it's usually very important to take care of yourself first, and then you can do so much more. For you. Right. So Sunny, dinner is the best something we also love to do that I think is really connecting doesn't have to be on a Sunday, but usually it's, it is. But um, it's one day in a week. We eat really simply. Um, and we like to eat whole fresh fruits and vegetables and keep it super simple during the week. But once a week, usually on Sunday, we like to put on some music. I put my apron on that my mom <laughs> gave me. And we create something together. Mm -hmm. And we both love food. And we both get a lot of pleasure out of making healthy, delicious food for each other. And I feel like this is part of our falling in love process. Is I remember being in Chiang Mai and we make green smoothies <laughs> together. I remember one of them. <laughs> and I think just, you know, it's a way to be creative together. Um, it's a way to explore together. I might do something differently that I, I may have done something differently alone. But with him, I try something else and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And the creations are, are always so lovely, you know, and, and then we get to eat it together and share it with people we love, even if it's just the two of us. And so I love our Sunday dinners. And I think they've really been a wonderful connecting um, and creative part of our time together. I just wanted to say thank you for um, having this time with us, and I want to say that you guys have been inspirations for us too. Yeah. Um, specifically for me, in the realm of um, authentic, loving communication, um, I will share personally that I didn't have a lot of those examples as I was growing up, and I used to be very worried that I couldn't have a healthy relationship um, because I didn't feel like I learned healthy communication self when I was growing up. And when I met this amazing being, it was really important to me that 
all the love and kindness I was feeling towards him, I was able to express that. And when there were difficult emotions, I could feel, I felt safe doing it with him. I felt just unconditional love from him, but I wanted to be able to express difficult emotions in a way that were still kind. Mm -hmm. yeah. That feeling um, hard emotions didn't mean that you, you couldn't communicate with love. And I feel like you guys are amazing examples of that. And so thank you for this work that you do on this channel and just in your life um, because it helps, it's up-leveling for me all the time. Aww. It's really an honor to have you guys on the channel and I'm really excited to kind of like share the space with you guys and with you guys and just really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and these guys both have different things going on online that I think are really worthwhile to check out. Yeah, hey, uh, if you guys want to check out uh, how to send love to a random person in the world, uh, check lovinguniverse.com. You can send through Twitter, through uh, Facebook, through mobile app, iPhone, Android, uh, try it out and let me know how it is. This was one of the ways I fell in love with you, was mm -hmm. when he told me that he created <laughs> no money coming in, he just created this app where you send love to somebody in the world when they get it on their phone and what you receive is you receive a positive, uplifting, soul elevating quote, a beautiful image back that just it's just somebody in the world saying I love you. And I think it just bespeaks a lot of, of you. I have a YouTube channel called The Poem Dances, all one, one word, The Poem Dances, in which I share um, my love in the in the ways that I feel I'm the most passionate and skilled at, which is through dancing and check that out. Um, it's, yeah. And then I have a holistic medical website if you ever want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one, um, and that's www.drtunijohnson.com. And to me, and I did a, an interview on my other yes. channel, yes. which was super fun. And so if you want to learn more about to me um, in that video, you can as well. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, you guys. Love See you, you next time. Love you guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.